What's going on guys and girls? We're here playing some more Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to complete all the mission tasks for mission 29 which is called Metallic Arkina. So in this mission there are four mission tasks to complete. First one is eliminate the skulls which you have to do. You have to also extract Code Talker. You have to complete the mission without being grabbed by a puppet soldier. I'll explain that one later and you also have to extract the skulls. So when you extract the skulls you need the wormhole halting device. So to stop you getting um, grabbed by a puppet soldier they are just some of the other soldiers around the area that just turn into kind of like zombie kind of things and they will try and grab you. So making sure you end up on this side of the map will actually help you a lot to stop you from being grabbed and then it also is a very good area run by over near these shipping containers because they provide great cover for when you're battling these skulls and you also just want to make sure that you don't shoot the helicopter or anywhere near code talker uh, otherwise you may end up killing him and that will stop you from completing the mission so as you can see this guy is jumping towards me, what you can do is you can stab them when they jump towards you, you can like counter their attacks uh, by pressing the attack button and what we want to do is when they have the kind of like super armor on them what you want to do is you want to use your rocket launcher when they're doing that as you can see I'm using the rocket launcher in this mission and I've also got the full battle dress uh, the reason you want that is because it just helps you stay alive and you don't have to worry about dying as much so when, as you can see, when they have the super sort of armor on, you just want to hit them with the rocket launcher. Then you want to shoot them when they don't have that armor on with your normal weapon. It just makes it a lot easier. And then when they try and attack you, you can either try and dodge it or you can just counter it and that will also help you attack them. So as you can see, we're just starting to shoot them up. When they get into this sort of area, you can have time to call in a, um, what are they called? A supply drop. And that's what I'm going to do. And this will not hinder your progress towards an S-Rank. And it will also just help you with getting some more ammo, especially for your rocket launcher. So as you can see, I'm just trying to shoot these guys when they have the armor on. It doesn't seem to hurt them a lot when they don't have the armor on. So just don't waste your rocket launcher when they don't have a lot of armor. And then when they have the armor on, that's when you want to shoot them with the rocket launcher. So as you can see, this guy has got some armor on, so we're not going to start shooting him with a normal weapon. We're just going to... Sh uh, you can do it. So as you can see, it does do a little bit of damage. I'm just using the weapon that you start off with. It is customized so that it is a slightly better, and we're just going to pick up our um, supply drop gear so that we have some more ammo. So as you can see, we're just going to shoot this guy with our rocket launcher because he had the armor on, and then we this guy is doesn't have the armor on, so we're just going to shoot him with a normal weapon and then counter it their attacks. Make sure you're not reloading or anything when they attack you, otherwise you won't be able to counter it and they will definitely hit you. And then the main things you want to really look out for is when they start throwing the rocks at you or when they uh, like those big like crystal rock things that they start shoot, shoot throwing at you or when they also are just shooting at you with their guns because they can do quite a bit of damage to you so as you can see this guy's got his gun out so we just want to make sure we hit him this guy almost hit us and so we're just going to start shooting at him and then just going to hit this guy and just keep shooting at them until they go down so as you can see this guy is so close to death so we're just going to start shooting him we he will start teleporting if he's shooting at them so you want to make sure that you get them now if you want to extract all four of the skulls you want to extract at least two of them before you defeat them all otherwise they will just end up flying away you only need to extract one or two of them for you to get this mission task so as you can see i've, I've killed two of them and they will stay there until the end of the battle uh, but once the end of the battle it finishes they will have a certain amount of time before then they will just start flying off and so you want to make sure that you extracted maybe at least one of them it doesn't help you anymore towards the mission task but it does help you at the end with some points so that you end up getting uh, more points at the end so you can get the S rank easier so I've also got low battery in my controller because I've been playing this game for way too long to this day and then we're just going to hit this guy and then start shooting at him and so as you can see they don't he's now put some more armor on when they kind of go like that muscle man sort of pose it kind of builds up their armor and you'll see on their health it kind of gives them a little bit of a slightly grayed out health bar that goes all the way to the end then that's when you want to use your rocket launcher and you need to hit them twice with this rocket launcher even though it's fully upgraded before you will take out all of their armor and then you've got this guy who is here you just want to make sure you stay away from those things that they uh, pull up right next to you and you can just shoot them like this 
and it does end up hurting them uh, through the armor, but it just takes a bit longer. So there you go, I've defeated all the skulls and now we just have to extract some of them. I'm going to extract two of them. Remember you need your wormhole falcon device to extract these guys. And then these guys are going to end up flying off uh, because I didn't have time to extract them all. So what we're going to do is we are then going to go over here and all of the other guys are now stunned. We have not been grabbed by one of the puppet soldiers, which it would be these guys if they grab you. So you want to, you want to make sure that you don't have that happen. And then we just need to pick up Code Talker and head to the extraction point and they will pick us up without us having to call in the helicopter or anything like that. And once you've done that, you should get all the mission tasks for this mission. So that's all we're going to really do. So we're just going to wait for the helicopter to arrive. And then we are just going to jump on the back. So where is the helicopter? It's coming down slowly. Slowly but surely. And there will be a cutscene. And that will help us get to the finish. So once the cutscene goes through, uh, I think it actually just goes straight to the end of the mission. And then there's a cutscene, maybe afterwards. I uh, can't quite remember. There we go. Mission complete. We did end up hurting D Dog, so we lost a couple of points there. But we get 150,000 points, which easily gives us S rank because you only need 130,000. And if you had extracted all the skulls, you would have got a lot more points for that. So that's all I'm going to do for this video. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys have now completed all the mission tasks for this mission and maybe S-ranked it. And now it's time for me to say see you guys and girls and hopefully see you in the next episode.